Hey everyone, today I'm just gonna be doing my makeup with you guys, chatting you through it. I'm gonna be trying a few new products like a new foundation from Laura Geller. Whoa, new concealers from Jouer, the essential high coverage liquid concealer. Excited about this. Some new kind of crazy brushes, new lips, maybe these new lips, I haven't decided yet. And I have a whole bunch of stuff from L'Oreal. This is their collection with Camila Cabello. It's a bunch of stuff. We're just gonna try it all on my face. I'm gonna talk you through it, let you know what I like, what I don't like. And especially for the foundation, I'm gonna check in with you at the end of the day and let you know how it's wearing, how I like it. I have oily skin just for your reference. I live in Texas. It's a little bit cooler out right now. I feel like fall might be coming, but you know it's a false alarm. You know fall is literally never coming to Texas. But it feels a little cool outside, just to let you know the situation, the environment I'm dealing with. So let's put on some makeup. Lord knows I need it. Get these sleeves out the way. Okay, just for time's sake, I'm gonna zoom through the steps that don't include new products. Like I just put on my primer and it's the Makeup Forever Step 1 Hydrating Primer. It's what I've been using a lot lately and I'm really liking it. Even though I'm oily and I thought that wouldn't work for me, but it totally does. It's very nice. Keep that in mind if you're oily like me. I'm gonna have all the products listed down below in case you're curious, but I don't want this video going on forever and ever and ever, amen. And I'm sure you don't either. Is it still echoing in this room? I mean, if you saw my whole like beauty room, recording room, tour, organization video, you know, there's a lot of stuff in here. I haven't decorated the walls, but there is carpet on the floor. Like I feel like that should help, but is there still an echo? I'm sorry if there is, I hope there isn't. Okay, we're ready for foundation. This is the new Laura Geller Filter First Luminous Foundation. It is not super, super new, but I just got it. I'm excited to try it. And I'm using the color beige. It might be a hair too dark for me. We're just gonna have to see. This is a luminous foundation that is supposed to make you look like you've got a filter on your face. And it's supposed to give you a medium coverage that's a breathable filter that's just supposed to blur out your imperfections and make you look like you're on Instagram in real life. I wish I could have Snapchat in real life. Like give me some kitty ears and make my face this wide. I'm down for it. Until we have that technology, we're gonna try this. The foundation comes in 12 shades and it's $38 each and under here you've got a little pump it's a glass bottle all very nice things okay, I'm trying to work on my mirror situation so I can actually see myself I'm gonna be using a flat top brush like this this is my favorite way to put on any foundation I feel like it gives you the most coverage it's even it's nice it's easy to work with you don't have to touch it you don't have to wet a beauty blender also very nice so let's see Ooh, okay, it's really liquidy. And it looks like it could be a little dark for me, but I did self tan yesterday, so I don't know. Cross your fingers for me. It feels not too thick and not too thin. Oh, it's just fine. I'm also gonna bring it down my neck because I've got a lot of veins on my neck that I don't really like. And I try to cover them up. Let's see. Okay, this color might not be so bad. It seems to be blending really nicely. And as far as I can see, this is a real medium coverage. Like this is a good coverage. This is not a coverage that you're gonna have to like really build up a lot unless you have something serious going on. And I like a lot of coverage, so that's saying a lot. Ever since I got my ear pierced, I've been trying to be so careful not to brush makeup over there because I had problems with this one getting infected like on and off and it's just been kind of a mess. And so my ears are like consistently not the same color as my face and I've just had to like accept that life. That's just where I'm at. I'm liking this. This looks pretty. It doesn't look shimmery in any way. It definitely doesn't look matte. It's not sucking me dry or anything. Maybe you wanna come a little closer. Did that help at all? I'm not sure. I like it. No, it's not a full coverage, but this is a coverage that I like for everyday wear. This is nice for me. It didn't completely cover the veins that I have on my neck that I like to cover, but I can boost that up with a little concealer. I'm just happy that my face and my neck appear to match a little bit better than they did at the beginning of the video. I don't know if you noticed. I don't really self tan my face usually, so there's usually a harsh contrast with the head and the body. Okay, next up, the very new Jouer Essential High Coverage Liquid Concealer. The packaging looks very, very familiar. It reminds me of the Tarte Shape Tape. I'm sure they knew they were gonna get that comparison. It's a thick bottle with a big doe foot applicator inside. So that's just what it looks like. You can't really argue with that. But it's from Jouer, so it's different. And I have very high hopes because it says it's high coverage and that's what I like in a concealer. I'm still not off the Tarte Shape Tape concealer 
bandwagon. It's been going for a very long time. I just haven't found anything that compares to it. So maybe this will be a competitor. I believe it comes in 25 shades. I have two here, macadamia and toast. I'm gonna go for macadamia. It could be a little bit light. Let's see. Ooh, that does look a wee bit light. Okay, let's go in with toast to just kind of like mix it in. It does feel like it's a little bit thinner than the tart shape tape. That's not a bad thing. Maybe that means that it will wear a little bit nicer throughout the day because I do notice, especially when I'm having drier skin around my eyes, or I'm wearing it for a very, very long time, it does get a little crinkly around my eyes and it doesn't look as good as it looked at the beginning of the day, which I mean, of course it's not going to, but if it's something you're gonna be wearing every day like I do, you want it to be as good as it could be. So if this one performs a little bit better, I'll be super excited. Ooh, okay, so I do have darkness under my eyes, but I also have veins and you can very, faintly see the veins a little bit here, but the coverage is nice. I really like this already. I mean, obviously you have to wait and see how it performs through the day, but first impression, this looks nice. Okay, I can already see this is a concealer. You cannot mess around with it and you have to grab your setting spray immediately to set under the eye so it doesn't start gathering in the creases. It has a high coverage. You pretty much have to do the same thing with Tarte Shape Tape, so it's kind of nothing different, but you do have to act fast. Like I usually have that like ready already at the side, like blend, 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 and then straight in with the setting powder. Okay, that set really nicely. I was a little concerned. I would normally just use a concealer like this under my eyes, but I'm gonna use it on all my little red spots around my nose, my little healing blemishes like this one right here. It got really swollen. It made me very nervous. I almost turned it into a beauty mark, but I think we're in the clear now. I wouldn't usually use a concealer like this. I'd usually use like the NARS concealer, the little pot one. I love that one and I feel like it stays in place really well. But just in case, like if you just want to have one concealer you can use for everything. Let's, let's see how this one works. So I'm just gonna use a little bit around my nose and this little redness here that will never go away. I had to sit there literally months ago and I'm still stuck with redness right there. I have been picking at my face quite a bit lately. I've been so stressed out mainly about this house. I love the house. Like if you watch my house tour, like you can tell, I love this house. I'm very excited about it. I feel like we found a great place. I like the area, like we're settling in. If you watch my vlog channel, you know, like things have been going pretty well, except for a few really big issues. Like I almost feel like a broken record, like don't complain about this here, but it's what's on my mind. And I'm also like beginning to sweat right now. I'm on the third floor, it's one of those houses. It gets really warm in here, especially with the lights on. And I wanna turn on the fan, but of course I can't turn on the fan because you'll hear the fan. This concealer definitely works to conceal redness on different parts of the face rather than just under the eye. I would still rather use a pot concealer, a more matte concealer around my nose just because I know that area on me could, tends to crease and it doesn't seem to be like fully covering it. I just didn't wanna like load it up in any way but let's see just a tiny bit more. I'm just gonna stop there because I don't wanna go too far and just make things worse because that can happen. Okay, I think toast is the color for me, so that's nice. All right, now I'm gonna zoom ahead a little bit and do my bronzer and all that business. Again, I'm listing everything down below in case you're curious. Okay, it's time to move on to blush and highlight and I just have to show you these brushes. They're from Tarte and they are Borderline completely ridiculous, but I just got them in the mail today and I kind of love them. I'm kind of mad that I love them though because sometimes when a brand or a store like just reads my mind or almost, it, it feels like they're speaking directly to me. I'm just like, oh, am I that predictable? But also thank you. So anyway, as a part of Tarte's holiday collection, they put out a brush set that is all pineapples and flamingos. It's just flamingoing around with a hot pink brush and it's so flopsy. Seriously, sometimes they do the cutest things ever and I just can't resist, even if it's gimmicky, I want it, I love it, I'm using these. I don't know if they'll work, but let's just see. Time for blush. Let me get my pineapple brush. I'm using Ye Old The Balm Hot Mama Blush. Gotta love it. I haven't used this blush in so long and it's so pretty. Not new, but noteworthy, yes. I feel like it's showing up pretty subtle and I don't know if that's my lights 
or the brush, but they got me with this one. Next up, I have this Pixi Highlight Duo. I don't know if that's supposed to be a blush, but it's like a very, very rosy tone highlight. I'm gonna be going for this side. This is the color Subtle Sunrise. Wouldn't say it's subtle. Actually, I would definitely say this is like an intense sunrise, but I don't hate it. Okay, we got a lot of glow going on today because I have the highlighting blush plus the intense sunrise, sunset. Where am I? Okay, I'm finally ready to get some brows on this face and I've got the new L'Oreal Havana Gotta Give Brow in medium deep and I also have the blonde shade. I tried this yesterday and it looked very natural on me. And I'd like to try the medium just to see. It could be a little too dark. We could regret this, but this is an interesting product. It's actually a liquid brow, and almost like a liquid liner, but not quite. You're supposed to outline it first and then fill it in. So check out that applicator. Kind of interesting, definitely looks pretty wet. I was frightened right off, but the lighter color did seem to look pretty good on my face and I have very finicky strange brows. In case you've never seen them up close before, they stand right off my face. So when I use a liner type brow product, it almost just looks like I have something painted on my skin underneath and then I have like, you know, my 3D wild brows sticking off on top and you can tell it's not actually my brows that are that color. It's just something I've painted on my skin underneath. That's why I know I could never do the whole microblading thing like it just would not look normal on me at all and before you say anything i know brow mascara brow gel is a thing i've tried it i've tried them all and they do not make my brow hairs stick down i don't know why i just did not get lucky in that department unfortunately they did send me these products and they only sent me three that's very interesting that i feel like i can actually wear two of the products like okay my brows looked very natural yesterday but they still look filled in and a little more polished and i've really never felt super confident about one of these products just because of the way my brows behave oh oh my gosh whoa 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 emergency do you see that I just went crazy with it and it went all over my lid. Okay, luckily you can wipe it off pretty easily. Okay, don't mind my brows, they are like so unkempt right now. Use a little good old fashioned saliva to fix that right there. Okay, you didn't see that. So you definitely have to be careful, much more careful than I am, but I like this. Oh, wow. I did not expect to like this so much and I thought the medium was gonna be too dark for me, but pleasantly, I am surprised. Whoops, 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 whoa. Okay, I just ran into an issue. Do you see here? I have two globs of the product. For some reason, I guess a little bit too much product got on the applicator. So I'm not taking back that I love the product. It's a nice neutral tone. The application is pretty easy, but obviously you do need to be careful and really start at the outer edge of your brow and at the arch before you bring it up here and don't double dip when you're coming to the front of your brow because you could run into issues like I just did. Don't do what I did, kids. Because this brow turned out a whole lot better than this one, but we're just gonna go with it. <laughs> Obviously, I could not stop working on them. <laughs> and now they're looking really dark to me, but they'll probably look good once I'm done with the rest of my makeup, let's hope. For my shadow, I just wanted to do something super, super, super simple. Like, honestly, I do not feel like doing eyeshadow, but this is what I'm doing. Also from the same Havana collection, I have two single eyeshadows. This one is Onana and this one is Control. They're both shimmery and I'm just gonna apply them with my fingers to really like pack on the shimmer and also keep it really controlled and try to like just blend it out with my fingers. I'm trying to do like a little like cool girl, not trying like I slept in this makeup kind of look. Let's see if it works. <laughs> okay, first up I'm using Onana, which is more of like a rose gold. Ooh, I like it, I like it, I like it. It's looking good with my eyes. I have kind of like hazily green eyes. And if I do my eyeshadow in a certain way, like using more pinky tones, maroons, reds, all of that business, they really start to look a lot more green and that's what I like to do. I'm trying to trick everyone, so watch out. I'm really just gonna focus this color on the inner third and I definitely should have laid down like a beige base. 
but I didn't. It is what it is. Life goes on. Actually, you know what? There's one right here real quick. Yes, today is a fingers eyeshadow day. I'm sure other people do this as like a, a YouTube makeup challenge. Like, oh my gosh, use your fingers. It's so crazy. And I'm just like, mm, that's like all I have energy for today. In my heart, all I want to do is complain right now because this house is driving me crazy. This move has driven me full crazy. At the same time, I don't want to complain. I want to be happy. <laughs> Crying doing my eyeshadow with my fingers like a crazy person. Ooh, I do have a little bit of good news though. I'm gonna go get my hair done. So I don't know if you've noticed. <laughs> Got a little root going. Like I know that's acceptable at this point, but this has been driving me a little bit crazy and I haven't had a person to do my hair here in Dallas and I have someone now and I'm going soon and I'm so excited. Somebody asked me recently in the comments if I was planning to do anything drastic with my hair now that the wedding is over and I'm still so tempted to get my bangs back. So tempted. But I don't think I'm gonna do that yet. Okay, now I'm going in with the color Control, which is, I thought it was brown before I had it in front of my lights, but now it's looking a lot more like a purpley taupe color. But again, it is a shimmer, and again, I am going to use my fingers. And I'm gonna focus it on the outer edge and just kind of blend it all together. Here's how the eyeshadow look turned out. It's nothing crazy. It's definitely nothing glam or whatever, but I'm happy with it. I think it's nice and I think it really complements my eye color, which is all I want. Next up, against my better judgment, <laughs> I'm grabbing the liner that came with this collection. It's the Flash Liner in Black. It's just your everyday basic marker tip liner and I don't have really great luck with super thick ones like this, but we're gonna try it. Let's see how this goes. I really don't want anything super extreme. I always really wanna keep it as thin as possible because my lids are basically semi-hooded, so I just generally have to be careful. But I'm gonna try to just do the outer half, just a baby wing on the outer half, not even go all the way in on my lash line. No, this is definitely not very easy to work with, especially for me. With my eye shape, I have to be so careful. If you have bigger eyes and you have more lid space and you don't have to be so careful, this could totally work for you, but that got out of hand really quick. It actually probably doesn't look like it, but you know when it's happening, when you're doing your eyeliner and you're like, I've lost all control, Jesus take the wheel. It happens to me all the time. I'm very familiar with the feeling. They're definitely sisters and not twins, which is not what you want with eyeliner, but it's okay, it's fine. But this is definitely not my favorite liquid eyeliner and I'm very picky, so oh well. And last for my lip, another new product. This is the Revlon Cushion Lip Tint. It's supposed to go on like a balm, but stay on like a stain. And there are 10 different colors. This one is Crimson Feels 260. And it's got a very interesting spongy applicator. Oh, we might be here for a while. <laughs> what I wouldn't do to get back all the time I've spent twisting products like this. <laughs> oh, here it comes. <gasps> This is such a magic moment. I wanna share it with you. Ooh, when it bleeds through. Oh, it kinda looks like blood. I'm sorry if that was graphic. I'm gonna get demonetized over here. Okay, now I'm really thinking this through. This seems like a very risky move. I chose red and it's got this very like haphazard sponge applicator. Like, I don't think this is gonna be precise at all and now I'm getting very nervous, but we'll see. <laughs> hmm, it's got a fruity scent. Very fruity, not offensive but very fruity. Fruit slash vanilla. Okay, as I predicted, it was a little bit of a challenge to apply precisely, and I didn't really, but I like the color. I really like the consistency. It feels comfortable on my lips. It doesn't feel thick like a gloss, but it feels a little bit slippery, and it's almost like a demi-matte. It, well, it's not matte at all, but it's not high shine either. So I like this. This seems very unique to me. I've never tried something like this. Actually, you know what? At least the delivery method really reminds me of the Juicy Shakers, but those are more of a gloss than this. We'll have to see how the stain wears through the day because I will be reporting back to you about how the foundation wears. Right now, obviously, it's been a little bit of time. I've been recording, blabbing on with you and putting on all the other makeup. So we've been sitting here a while, but the foundation still looks good to me. Um, it does seem to be emphasizing some lines over here. That is kind of a trouble spot for me. I don't think I can totally fault the foundation for that, but it's just something I'm noticing very early in the game. It looks kind of like bunchy, you know? When I express and 
move my mouth, which I tend to do in regular life, it just looks a little like I'm wearing a lot of makeup, guys. Have you noticed? But I do like the color and the concealer looks really good too. I'm impressed so far. Okay, I can't actually physically zoom the camera in anymore, but hopefully I'm close enough where you can see what I was talking about especially around here. It does look pretty good overall though. We'll see how my oily skin does with the luminous qualities, if it reacts well with that and doesn't get just like completely oily within the hour, hopefully not. I did set it all over with my translucent powder, so that should definitely help and it should help with any kind of oily foundation situations. But yeah, I'll stop rambling and I'll see you back at the end of the day and we'll see how all this mess wears. Okay, something happened that has never happened in all of the 95 years I've been on YouTube. I fell asleep before I was done checking in with you guys. I cannot believe this happened. I guess I just went into like full on grandma mode and I fell asleep at like, I don't even know what time. I don't even know what it is, but I think that I've been asleep for like two hours. And I just woke up a second ago. I feel like my eyes are really, really red. Excuse me for that. I had my contacts in. Clearly, I was not ready to go to bed. I like plugged in my phone because it was at literally 1% because that's the life I live. And I was gonna like get a photo ready to put on Instagram and like download this app and blah, blah, blah. And I just got super tired. And then after that, nothing. But I just woke up and I was like, <gasps> I have to do my video. <laughs> and so I wanted to check in with you guys. I'm so sorry. I definitely have my like super sleepy voice that I always have when I do foundation check-ins because I always do them way too late. Today is no exception. I've had this makeup on for about 10 hours because I didn't put it on like super early in the morning or anything, but I'm pretty impressed with how it stayed on, especially with sleeping, which of course you're not supposed to do with any makeup. It's not very good for your skin. It was an unintentional sleep. I don't know if that makes a difference, but in my mind, it, it I don't know, I, I'm willing to live with it. It's been a long day. I've done a lot of things, gone to the dog park, I cooked dinner, I went to the grocery store. I went to two grocery stores. I don't wanna talk about it, there was drama. This face has been all over, including like in sleeping beauty mode. Should I like incorporate this into like my future foundation reviews? Like the sleeping beauty test? Is this the gimmicky thing that I can do on YouTube? I'm thinking about it. But I do notice there's like a patch over here that's kind of missing. <laughs> and actually Grant woke me up. So he was like, oh hey, it's time to get ready for bed. Cause I was just like laying there on top of the bed. <laughs> and I was like, no, and I like exploded off the bed. And then I asked him when I was like looking and ins inspecting and be like, can I even salvage this situation? Because I woke up and I was just sleeping like completely flat, like Snow White style, just like preserving myself on top of the bed and I was like, was I sleeping on my side at some point? And he was like, yeah, you were kind of going in between your back and your side and I was sleeping on this side and there is kind of like a little patch missing over here and that is why. So it definitely wouldn't happen to you if you weren't doing the sleep and beauty test with your foundation. Other than that, it wore really well. Obviously I'm shiny. It definitely went into my lines a little bit. There was one point, uh, it was about four hours in, I started to feel like I was getting shiny around then. It wasn't looking too shiny, but I could feel it. If you have oilier skin, you know what I'm talking about. You can kind of feel it before you can see it. So I knew it was coming and my makeup just started to feel a little bit heavy. And I was just like, ugh. Kind of just want to like wash my face. Do you know what I mean? So that started happening around hour four. Not that great, but in regular life, I would just use some blotting powder and it would make it all feel better. But doing the test, couldn't do that. And this is what I've ended up with. I'm actually pretty impressed considering it is a luminous foundation and I didn't feel like a complete grease ball all day, which is kind of what I was expecting. So the coverage stayed pretty well. It definitely got heavier through the day. It definitely got oily, but I did expect that. I'm pretty impressed. As for the other makeup, the brows still look good. I'm pretty excited to use it tomorrow just cause it's like, I don't know. I get excited about a new brow product. Is that just me? And the lips, they're very stained. 
I actually really, really like this product. I was a little on the fence about it when I first put it on and it did feel definitely like I was wearing a lip product, like more like a lipstick or a lip gloss right at the beginning. But I had a snack like almost immediately after I recorded the first part of the video. And so some of the product must have come off, but the stain was there. And as you can see, the stain is still going strong and it looks really good. Well, it looks okay. Like it definitely is not like, oh yeah, your lips look great. But they said stain and they meant it. And I like that. I'm into it. I'm excited to use the other colors. I would definitely recommend that lip product if you're looking for something that's kind of a comfortable lip color that ends up being a stain but it doesn't make your lips look extra dry. I did notice dry spots on my lips initially but it wasn't gross. Do you know what I mean? No, I don't like it better than the balm stain, but it's good and I'm impressed. I really hope this video was helpful for you guys. If it was, give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you like these kind of videos in the comments. You can also find me on social media. It's Leanne Says Everywhere and I love talking to you guys over there. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed. If you have, thank you so much. You are my people and I love you. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye everyone. For seem... <laughs> Lash, la flash, and the bombs paint, bombs paint. Have I been living under a rock? I'm starting to think I have been.